Well, all of America, particularly investors, are eagerly wait waiting details about President Trump's, quote, phenomenal tax plan. But is there too much anticipation built up around it? If and when we get one, could it be a sell the news type event? Max Wolf of 55 Capital, David Seberg of Count and Company. David, start with you. I mean, uh, the prospect of lower individual and or corporate tax rates has people enthusiastic. Uh, we don't even know. Listen, Congress could do anything. We don't know if we're going to get one. If we did, would it be a sell the news type thing? Have we already priced it in? Yeah, I mean, 100% I, I, I think that it's a sell the news event. I mean, look, we're pricing in and paying forward for a lot here. We're paying forward for a lot of expectations on what President Trump says and, and then the phrases he uses to describe it. And I think that we're just boxed ourselves sort of into a corner here of a little euphoria as well as, uh, you know, uh, just wickedly high expectations for, for uh, you know, just the tone of his voice massive you know plan coming your way you have no idea how big this is going to be the market listens to every word that he says just like you listen to Janet Yellen and, and sort of dissect her language when it comes to predicting a Fed move so I look at it and say I think we've been way too uh, you know euphoric if you will uh, you know uh, our, our belief is that there is going to be some massive tax plan he started off the the campaign at a 15 percent you know corporate tax effective tax rate and now we're probably working off of a, a hopefully a 25 percent effective tax rate which would be a 10 percent cut I look at it and say if if it's a dollar you know let's say uh, 30 of S&P uh, earnings for every one percentage point cut you're looking at you know 145 bucks in S&P earnings give it a realistic multiple of 17 we got a little bit more upside or we're right around that level in the tape in the S&P's right now so I just don't see I just don't see the upside here, Brian. I wouldn't be chasing this tape. I think the market comes in when any announcement's made. Okay. Don't forget back. Ma Ma Max Wolf, that. would you agree with that? Market yeah, so comes we, in. We, we, and again, we got to be clear. We may never get an announcement. I mean, Congress can take its sweet time. Yeah. As we know, they may, and sweet time may mean forever. We'll see. You know, we right, think it will probably coming, be something of an right? announcement. Go ahead, Max. <laughs> Yeah, so I think there'll be something of an announcement here. I'm not differentiated all that much in terms of what I do about it. I'd see the world a little bit different. So two things. One, I think there's a lot of upside in the market that doesn't make much sense. When you have a fantasy, you don't worry about the thorns on the rose because there aren't any. You don't worry about the hangover because there isn't one, right? But in reality, of course, there are thorns on the rose and there is a hangover after the party. So we do expect the reality to be much less exciting than the fantasy. Separate apart from that, part of the reason the market is as bid up and a bit out over its skis as it looks to me right now is because everyone's holding to see what their lower tax rate is to sell things. So we think two things happen when we finally get the news. One, it's a lot less than promised, which is beginning to be a pattern here. And two, people realize that there's a downside too, which is lots of people holding for relief for that lower tax rate. They don't have to hold anymore once they get a little visibility. So we'd be nervous in the short term on the correction in terms of what's promised versus what's delivered. And longer term, there's no reason you have to hold it anymore to hold your breath for the lower tax rate. We get there'll probably be some real selling around that as well. All right, Max Wolf and David Seberg, both with yes. sort of sanguine views on this tax thing, assuming we get anything. We're going to find out. David and Max, thank you both very much. Thank Folks, you. thank you for tuning in thank to Trading you. Nation. I'm Brian Sullivan. We'll see you next time. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.